Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my Minecraft Hardcore Survival Series. How is everybody doing? I'm doing so good. Hopefully you guys are doing amazing because we are back again today here in our hardcore world. Still alive, still doing great. And for the first time, I'm going to get to use my Riptide Trident during a rainstorm. This is amazing. Watch this. Oh, I don't need a single rocket for this thing. Oh, so awesome. I can just hit this Riptide as much as I could. This is probably what's going to get me killed in this world, but you know what? I'm going to be happy doing it. Ow. It looked like it hurt, but it was also amazing at the same time. But what do you guys think? Oh, this is so cool. Our area here. All of these islands are looking so awesome. Our little starter island here. The volcano island on this side. The lighthouse island over here. This tiny thing that I'm going to put something very, very soon. And right now, I'm going to set up something awesome because on this island... I'm going to be doing something pretty cool. Something that I'm going to be needing uh, in the event that we don't get any more rainfalls. Because, you know what? Even though this is amazing, we're not going to get rained on that much. And this Riptide Trident is only going to be good, really, uh, whenever we have those rainstorms. So, right here in this island, I got a little bit of clearing done for us. And we're going to be building a creeper farm so we can get all of the rockets but that's not all. The creeper farm is going to help us out to get a bunch of TNT so we can get even more netherite. In the nether is going to be a lot better than um, almost destroying this pickaxe like I did last time. So today, we're setting up a creeper farm. But before we do any of that, can I just fly around a little bit for maybe like 10-15 minutes until this rain stops? Okay, thank you. Patito! Also, in between episodes, I terraformed this little island over here. Look how cool. Doesn't it look really nice? Hold on, let's get a little bit of a better view. There it is. Look how cool. I just added a couple trees in here, added uh, some bones meal i added some sugar cane some flowers a little bit of coarse dirt it looks pretty <laughs> now in this island i want to put something really cool something really special something that i've been wanting to put here for a very long time well just in technically in general in this world for a very long time and i'm gonna get some materials and we'll build this first before we jump over there and build that gunpowder farm uh, let me show you what I mean. I've got a little outline in place for the build that I'm thinking about right here. And this is a pretty cool outline, right? We've got a little 7x7 seven seven box. We've got a little diagonal going over here and a little drop down that's going to end up having like a little bit of a docking pier side over here. But this is all dedicated to this, to the loom. I'm going to bring a, a lovely villager over here and we're going to have a banner maker shop. That's right. I want banners. I want custom banners. One specifically for the Volcano Island, one for our original. Isla de la Salchicha. And what was this called again? Isla del Volcán de Hierro. That's right. We're going to have official banners. And I also want to make one for uh, Spider Cannon in the western town. So I want to have a dedicated villager that uh, makes it for us, right? Uh, and we can contract them to make really cool banners. I still have no idea how to make really good banners. I'm going to see if I can wing it and make something cool later on today. But as far as the structure, I think this is going to be a really cool outline. I love doing these little diagonals off main structures like this. That technically how I did in the original uh, lighthouse, starter house, uh, and I love it. So a lot of people ask Sausage, how do you come up with your um, layouts, your plans for houses? Um, you know what, pretty much just wing it until it looks pretty cool. And I think this is a good wing job right here. I have a plan in my head uh, and I wanna see if I can make it look cool with you guys. But as far as materials and block palettes that I'm picking for this one, I wanna go a little more old school. I wanna bring in almost the style that I did for my season four part of my single player world. I mean, rest in peace and i want to bring a little bit of diorite in here a little bit of uh, strip birds that's right and a little bit of white concrete so kind of what we did over in the western town's church i want to bring this color palette down here and mixing it in with a little bit of andesite in the bottom for texturing and then on the top bring in a little bit of dark oak and bring in a little bit of spruce and then also i want to bring in a little bit of prismarine some dark prismarine for the rooftop and i think it might look really cool so for right now what i want to do is just lift these walls up a little bit uh just with some cobble and then i'll bring a little bit of andesite too on the bottom but just a little bit coming up like this in random texture patterns like so and then uh this is gonna be our front door so right about here we're gonna have a way in i don't think we're gonna elevate it too much maybe one more actually i might just leave that there but then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring in some of the diorite that's right don't be afraid of it it's not a bad block when you mix it in with some other blocks okay trust me it makes it look a little dirty it makes it look a little messy so this is what we're gonna do let's do a little building on cami cam over here and i'm gonna show you guys how i set up this little bit of a gradient uh and it's gonna look pretty nice so we got this layer coming up like so and then after that i'm gonna bring in a little bit of the birch but 
I want to make the birch into the log so we don't have any exposed pieces of that uh, bark right there. So just a little bit, a little peppering in, just in random spots. And by doing this, it gives us a little bit to work with as far as the different white block variations. And it looks pretty cool, trust me. Now, we're going to bring in the cleaner white block, which is the white concrete. And we're just going to come in here just a little bit. And then this is going to go up on the top layer like this. We might even bring a little diorite up uh, just to mix it in a little bit more uh, and make it look a little bit better blended in to this thing. But this is how I do my texturing. So we do a little building on the fly together and see how it looks like. So something like this. This is going to kind of go around and curve. So we're going to go ahead and cover these up down here as well. So let's just go ahead and take this all the way down. I think we got it. This is a good look to it. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is good. Then over here, uh, I think we're going to lift these up a little more. But I think I'm going to stop it right here at this line. Because after that, I want to give it a little bit of a wood texture on the second level. And I think that's going to make it stand out even more. This bottom part, I think I'm going to leave it just like that. Uh, and then we'll do like a little slab roof on the tippy top. And I think that might look awesome. So right up here on the second level, I'm just going to come in with just some spruce and go up by two all the way around just like so then for this one i want to make it go up in a step pattern really simple step pattern going up like this with the middle point right there then i'm going to repeat it over here on this side so it's going to look just like this and then we're going to do a little outside border of some dark oak i'm going to go with stairs regular stairs going down this direction and then we're going to make a simple a-frame oh that messed up hold on so it's going to look just like this really super simple and then i'm going to go ahead and wrap this uh layer all the way around and on the inside part we're just going to be using some of the dark prismarine and i think it's going to look really really cool so let's set this up but first let me make a daytime there we go that's looking really really cool also what i really want to do as well i want to texture the spruce side a little bit by adding a little bit of the strip spruce but i'll add that in a second but i want to work on this roof uh this one's going to go pretty simple i'm just going to go right down here i'm going to put full blocks of the dark prismarine all the way around on the tippy top just like so then i'm going to go to the bottom layer and add the dark oak slabs i'm going to take this all the way around right here and this little diagonal except for that is messed up just like this all the way around and that should give us a nice little trim just like we have the dark oak trim here with the stairs it's going to give us a little slab trim then the rest is pretty much just adding the uh the dark prismarine right in the center and only got two rockets left, so might as well use one to make sure that looks good. Yeah, that ends perfectly right at the top. I love it. Now we just got to figure out uh, how to dress this up and make it look cool. So let's add a little bit of texturing. And also down here, we got the front door perfectly lined up. Oh, please imagine dying from this. Get out. <laughs> but this is looking really cool. We got a nice little front door here. I might do a little uh, overhang with some campfire blocks. Oh, this needs to get lit up real quick. Look at this, plenty of space in here. I need to bring my scaffold, that's fine. We'll bring it later, but then also gotta figure out where to put some windows. And then we're gonna add some interiors, some flooring. I think just a really simple spruce floor, uh, or dark oak, actually. Dark oak floor is gonna look good, and then we'll set that up. Our banner maker home is looking really, really cool. We got the overhanging place with the campfire blocks. I got a little bit of a step down right here, a little area to overlook this part. And this is almost like a, a stone dock kind of thing, which looks really, really cool. I got to bring in some mossy. Uh, but so far, look at this from this angle, right? Isn't that looking nice? Also, I got this little window over here. I started growing uh, some berries and the strip uh, is going good. Look at that. Beautiful. It strips fruits. The inside is still looking a little plain though. We still gotta play around with stuff over here. I'm gonna add another window over here. I was debating though whether I put a window here or a chimney section. Uh, I'm thinking that actually I might put a little chimney here on this corner actually to break up this section of the wall. But also I'm working on a back door as well. So we're gonna have a little back porch, a little fishing area maybe off to the side. It's looking a little plain over here. So I just wanna add uh, the same details that I added in the front by bringing in some campfire blocks over here in a second. I'm gonna also bring some shutters to the side campfire up here another one up there and we're going to extinguish this uh not with the sword though with the spoon there it is that looks really really cool and then on the bottom here we can add a little bit more uh flower pot action probably uh i might actually break this piece off we'll see but i'm thinking right here i might actually do a little extension a little workroom here on the side i'll add that in a second but on this side just to break up this flat wall over here i might just break this off right there and then take up a little mix of some granite 
little bit of brick going up to the side here and just bring the texturing but also break this part up and then do a little bit of a fireplace chimney uh, and it's gonna look pretty cool you watch the banner maker is ready to go but I'm gonna do some good old-fashioned villager relocation take some of these guys here from our lovely brand new uh, Isla de la Hierro Volcano, what's it called again? And I, uh, I'm fine with it. Uh, I'm gonna do a little more breeding uh, and I'll bring some more down. If anything, I'll have them breed over here and make more babies on this side, but I'm gonna take one. Uh, this guy seems to uh, not mind. Wh which one of you wants to be a banner maker? You're the first one that looked at me. Oh, you you, you, you want the job. Okay, come on in. I can tell he's excited. Let's go, let's make some banners, baby. Um, You'll see him again soon, okay, I promise. That guy's mad. And there it is. Look how cool it looks from over here. Oh, it just looks so awesome. We're going to definitely do a little shader tour at the end. See this in all its glory. But look how cool this looks. All that extra foilage details there. The little pop out is there. It's ready to go. Oh, man. That's just the perfect little spot. There it is from the back. Oh, that looks so good. Actually, I'm going to go in from the back side here because the actual um, professional block, it's right on this little extension. So I don't think I have any other professional blocks here. I made sure. So I'm thinking. This beautiful villager is going to go straight for it. Go ahead. Go straight for it. It's on the inside. I have three looms ready to go. Go on in. Oh, you got it. Yes. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't go upstairs. Don't go upstairs. It's right here. I got three looms right here. I got three looms right here. There's absolutely nothing here for you. It is downstairs. You look confused. Let me help you out. It is literally downstairs. Oh, I think I know what's happening. I got trapdoors and stuff on it. Hold on. I'll take it out. There it is. Come on down. Come on down. There it is. I'm sorry you had the trapdoors there. Bam. Oh, so cool. Oh, I love your hat. Pure fashion. What do you guys think of the interior, though? It's pretty simple, but it has all the details here. I got some looms right here. I got some random banners right there. Uh, we got the little kitchen. There's a little kitchen corner area. Over here, we got more banners on display right here on the side. And it's looking really cool. Upstairs, we got a small bedroom. Very tiny. No, it's not. It's a big king-size bed. It's from a friend here. So you can spread out. And they can bring friends over and have a slumber party. But that's fine. What do you think? Oh, it's so cool. Now... I just got to figure out you know, what kind of banners to do. I might uh, take a look at Planet Minecraft. There's always a bunch of cool stuff there, and I can just make stuff as I go along, because I don't know what I'm doing, right? Oh, and can you guys please name this amazing villager in the comment section, because they helped me build these two things right here. This is the one for the Volcano Island. Look how pretty that is, little volcano there, a little bit of ashiness, and the sun is setting, and then this is for our beautiful fortress uh, island, Isla de la Salchicha. It has all of these Spanish style colors, which I love. And I think it came out pretty cool. What do you guys think of these two? I still don't have one for the Western town, but you know what? I'll make that later on. I'll get some inspiration, but these two are ready to go. You know what? Let me put these on shields too. Here we go for the Volcano Island and one for Isla de la Salchicha. That's right, there it is. Oh, that looks glorious. Let's check the other one out. Bam! Oh, these look so good. I just gotta go ahead and put them, unscatter them around in the other islands and make it uh, look so good. I gotta plant some right in there. Oh, look at that. Boop. 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 Hey, Petey. Boop. Hey, Nick. Boop. Ah, perfect. We got all of our banners up in random spots here in the fortress over there in the Volcano Island. Oh, man, everything's looking so good. You know what I just noticed, too? I need to make another banner also for the Lighthouse Island, right? Get those done soon. Because now it's time to head over to this island and make our creeper farm. I got a pretty cool design. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to put links in the description as well for the person who I think started it. I'm not sure, but it's not going to be too crazy big. It's not going to be the ones that are huge and stacked up. Uh, this is just a little one because I want to do this. I want to build the gunpowder farm, right? The little creeper farm here in the center. But I want to house it inside a shipwreck. That's right. So uh, we can't have those big towering ones for that. Uh, I want to make this one aesthetically pleasing and make it look cool. So uh, let's get the outline started. Way smaller than the one we did in the last season's world. But you know what? I'm not going to need that much gunpowder. I might even stack this up. But for right now, I think this is pretty good. Also, if you're going to build this for yourself, just remember this is only for Java PC. It does not work on Bedrock. Just letting you know right now. And there it is. Now that we got this in place, we got to extend this little portion right over here by one more and then one more over here on this side. All we got to do now is dig down right here on this side. Let's take it down a little bit. Now, once we dug that down, I'm going to grab some trapdoors, put two and two here. 
Let's put two and two on this side, and that is looking good. Now we gotta place some carpets down. But before we do, just for my own sanity's sake, I'm gonna replace the floor here with cobbles and stones and stuff. I know we're probably not gonna see this, but I'm gonna know it's here. Now from here, we gotta lay some carpets down. So we're gonna put one here in front of this section between the two trap doors. We count by two, put one here. Count by two this way, put one here, put one on this corner. I'm gonna do the same thing over here, so count by two, and then count by two, it should look like that, and then one in the back, so it should be like this, and then we just gotta repeat it over here. There it is, perfect, we got it all set up. Then, um, you know what, this is gonna be the sad part. I gotta bring some kitty cats down, and we gotta put them um, sitting right here on this side, and one sitting on the other side, so I got a couple right in here, waiting for us for this job. Riptide me over there! Oh, it looks so weird with a shield on. Riptide! 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 Kitties, are you guys ready? Oh man, look how cute. We got these two lovelies that are gonna go in the creeper farm. You are built for this job, okay? Trust me, you guys are gonna be great. Also, we got a jelly. <laughs> we got a bunch of kitties over here. Bunch more spawns, so we got this whole area covered up so no creepers could technically surprise me when I'm in my iron farm, which I love so much. Let's do a little water skiing before you go in. <laughs> They're having a great time. Come on, all you gotta do is scare a bunch of creepers. You know you're gonna love that. It's gonna be so much fun. There you go, okay. So, one is gonna go right here, and then you sit, perfect. And then you, uh, let's cross this the way before it gets dark, okay? It's gonna be bad guys coming. You come right there, you stand right here on this little thing. Right over here. Perfect, okay. Okay, so you're standing there, you're standing there, you're great. Let's make it daytime, and uh, we'll go to the next stage of this farm. Now, for the next part of this farm, I'm gonna have to go down here and dig 16 blocks that direction. I just noticed something, though. This is gonna be underwater, so we're gonna have to make something down here. A little uh, killing chamber that's kind of be underwater, and uh, I'm not sure how to set that up yet. Uh, let's make it look ugly with just stone for now, and then I'll figure it out. But uh, from here, we do have to go down about four blocks right here. So one, two, three, and four. And then I just have to dig down this way, but we also gotta put some water sources down here. So one on this side, one on this side, and the water has to be carried down and it has to go all the way down to the end until it can't go down no more. We gotta break the blocks down and go down an extra uh, little bit. So let's take this down and see how we can set this up. We're probably gonna end up in the water, uh, but uh, it's fine, we'll figure it out. So I think we're making pretty good progress. I was able to extend this little pipe kind of thing, and this one I got for now is totally temporary. I'm not sure if I wanna keep it, but it kinda looks like a little bit of a sewer, right? Like a little pipe coming out of here. Uh, we can definitely make this look cool. Hi, how you doing? Welcome to death. You, get out. Oh, I should've hit you with this. Uh, it's fine. Oh, I'm gonna drown. Hold on. We're fine. So, yeah, check this out. It's like a little bit of a pipe that comes out from the bottom. I, I think we can work with this. I'm gonna see if we can come up with some cool designs here. But for right now, this is it. Uh, the line goes all the way down here with the water. But now, we gotta do a little killing chamber. For the killing chamber, uh, it's just, I'm just gonna go with campfire blocks. Just two right there. Should be fine. Uh, got some hoppers that are gonna go into a chest. That so we're gonna put a double chest here. And I think this should be fine for this farm. It's a very small farm. It's not gonna be the greatest yield of of all kinds of drops, but I think it'll be pretty good. And I'm gonna just grab some carpet and put that down, so uh, we're good to go. Now, I'm just gonna put some glass so I can definitely just see these guys coming down and getting murdered. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna leave it right up to here. I'm gonna grab some trap doors. I'm gonna cover these up right there and leave the chest exposed. So we'll see the creepers there getting all messed up, and I think this is it, right? I think we're good to go. Let's go back upstairs. Now up here, the next step would be to grab some trap doors and just put them right here at this level. So we gotta cover this whole entire farm up with these trap doors. Now that the trap doors are in place, I'm gonna come back in here and add some slabs. So it could be any kind of slab, really. I'm gonna do a little mix again here, but we just have to cover everything we just did on the top part so nothing spawns in a bunch of slabs. Now after we got the slabs in place, I gotta put some scaffold here. And we gotta go up 120 blocks in the air. So right now I'm on 64. So if I do some quick math, I gotta go to 184, maybe? I don't know. I'll do the quick math when I get to the top, but I gotta put a bunch of scaffold down and make a little AFK spot. And it's gonna be fun to design what I'm gonna do up there. Maybe something similar to what we did over there with the flying ship. Maybe do a little hot air balloon or something. Let's go. Here we go. We're at 184, and I think this is it. This should work. I did light up the place with just some regular torches, so I'm just gonna stay up here. Let's do a 10 minute test run. It's been 10 minutes, so let's go ahead and check this out. Hopefully, we're doing okay. Let's see if we can jump out of this. We're fine. We got an elytra. We're good. And look at that little box up there. I'll make it pretty. Uh, but please, I hope this worked and I didn't waste all this time. So let's go in our little hole down here. Oh, I hear stuff. I hear stuff. Oh, it's working. It is working, it is officially working. Okay, uh, let's wait for these guys to die and then we'll check it out and see how many drops we got. Please die, rip. 
All right, let's check it. 10 minutes of gunpowder. Two stacks! Oh, man, we couldn't plan that anymore. That is beautiful. Wow, okay, you know what? For 10 minutes, I'll take it. Such a quick build. I'm gonna make this thing pretty, though. Let's see what I could do. I think we nailed this pipe here. Check this out. Isn't that looking nice? I think it came out pretty cool. It's a nice little circle right there. And then on the inside, I just dressed it up a little bit by adding some barrels for stores on the side. Uh, I did add the mossy over here and a nice little curve to the top, some lighting. I think we're good to go. I think the bush just adds all the details. Now for the top part over here, I gotta figure out how to make a crash ship on this thing. This might be a little bit too big uh, to do it, but I think maybe we can work something out. Let's see if I can come out with at least a good structure for this thing i'm gonna have to go right on the line here if i don't want to make it too big so let's see if i can make something happen with this now we got a little bit of an outline here and i'm thinking it's okay it's a pretty big boat but it's gonna be very broken we're gonna destroy this thing but the outline's in place we got this whole middle section all covered up and i think so far so good we can even replace the slabs that are over here and then cover it up with like a little deck here with uh just maybe some dark oak i'm thinking about bringing that in and that should be fine as long as we keep it lit all the way around here uh and nothing bad spawns on top of it and all the spawns are concentrated on the inside we should be good to go and the kitties are doing great inside but what do you guys think of this I think it's working out. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still not the best boat builder in the world. And this is the biggest size boat I've ever done. Or ship. It's a ship. It's de technically is is ship level. Uh, so let me just chip at it away a little bit more and see if I can come up with something else uh, to make it look more shippy. Little by little, I've been chipping away at this thing, and it's looking all right. I'm breaking it up all on this back side over here. I even got one of these little fallen masts on this side. We got a mast in the middle right here. I'm not sure how to set up the sail. I don't even think I'm going to put sail. I'm going to put, like, the, uh, the little cross beams and then just break it up. I don't think I'm going to put maybe a little bit of tattered sail up there. I'm not sure. i got to figure out what to do on that top part AFK room, but I have no idea. I might save that for the next episode. But as of right now, I kind of like the way this is broken in the, in the spots that the uh the farm isn't right like down here this is like an empty space so i have this all broken down with a mask going all the way down uh to the bottom some barrels here just light decorations but i'm gonna have to really decorate this even more with some bushes and stuff like that uh but up here we got slabs we got stairs we got trapdoors of the dark oak so we get that texture change and i gotta figure out a way to light this up without affecting the bottom part because uh, a lot of this is spawnable now uh, and that's going to be the trick uh, to light up as much as we can and to make stuff as not spawnable as we could so I, I gotta figure that out uh, if anything brown carpet might be a thing up here that might work uh, maybe string in certain spots uh, I did have some spots here that the water's actually coming in so I might flood this bottom end back here as well let me show you on the outside this was looking like so far I gave it a little bit of a strip dark oak trim here on the outside Side edge some fences in here i want to add some signs and some more barrels let me rip tie myself this way so you can see it and this one is looking like on this side it's not looking too bad i want to add a little bit more texturing on the bottom end maybe i bring in some dark oak hello who's coming oh a whole army okay nice to see you would you guys like to be my first mate i need some mateys here for this pirate old ship you want to come on home? no okay bye uh but what do you guys think of the shape i really do like the way the shape turned out the cool thing about making this as a shipwreck is that i can break it up and it doesn't have to be perfect which is even better hello could you please leave thank you goodbye i think it's looking pretty cool this is what it looks like from this side from the top it's looking awesome too let me chip away a little more see what i can do and now a few hours later i think we got ourselves a nice little shipwreck island let me show you Look at that from over here. Doesn't that look really cool? I went against putting the tattered sails. I didn't want to put any sails on that thing. So we got some really cool chains hanging down with some lighting. And I love the little mast there and on top of the little crow's nest. Is that what it's called? Little crow's nest. This looks awesome. And also, we got rain. Let's go over there. Whee, that's right. Oh, man. Look at this. Let's go slow. Oh, and I forgot about that beautiful place. Look at that. Oh, doesn't it look cool? I added a bunch of details over here. I did light it up. I also put some string here on this side. So hopefully no mobs spawn here. I put some bushes. Uh, mobs don't spawn on bushes, right? I don't think so. I got some hidden lighting over there. Got some hidden lighting on that side. Everything on the top here is either a slab, a trapdoor, or a pressure plate. So I'm thinking there's not going to be any bad spawns over here. See all pressure plates, all trapdoors. We got everything looking really, really good, I think. We got ourselves a non-spawnable shipwreck. Everything up here is all slab. 
slabs so nothing can spawn here. Trap doors, bushes, and oh, that looks so cool. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Nothing up there is spawnable either. Everything is either a trap door or a pressure plate. I think we're good. We got chests. Nothing spawns on chests, right? I don't think so. Uh, we got more trap doors over here. We got uh, some water just pouring in. We got some carpets also with lighting over here. I don't think anything here has a low light level, so I think we're doing pretty good. We also got some lanterns on this side. The opposite end is also looking really good. We got a lot of overgrown. We got water pouring in here on the side. Vines, bushes. I think this is looking like a really cool shipwreck. Something can spawn here, but we got a light right next to it, so I don't think anything uh, bad is going to happen there. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I'm thinking... We're good to go. The only thing we never did was that guy. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm going to save that for the next uh, episode. And uh, let me know what you want to see up there. I'm thinking maybe hot air balloon. Uh, it may be another one of those guys. What should I do up there? Let me know in the comments. Let me make it daytime really quick. Excuse me, my friend. Is it okay if I sleep right here? That's a no. Now, I only got one rocket left, so let's waste it. And then I'm going to make a bunch more. I'm going to make a lot of TNT. I'm so happy with this ship, man. Every time... We keep building new ships. We keep building new boats. We keep getting better and better. And that's just with practice, right? You practice a lot, you get uh, uh, better at doing stuff, right? <laughs> now, maybe one day we'll do a non-crashed version of this uh, somewhere there in the water. But you know what I need from you guys? That's right. Name the ship. Okay, every ship needs to have an amazing name, right? So you guys better name it in the comment section because right now, I'm out of here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hanging out with me today. You guys are inspiring me every single day to keep building cool stuff here in this world and i'm so proud of this ship man it's a really cool one i'm <laughs> i think in the next episode i'm gonna make a bunch of tnt uh and we might do a bunch more nether right no angel debris mining right angel debris mining and also make a bunch of rockets because i want to go ahead and do some exploring around this area and see if we can find ourselves a pillager outpost because i am in need of totems of undying i want to make a raid farm and that's something that we're going to need one of those pillager outposts for so exploring next episode that's right <laughs> we're going to do a lot of exploring but i'm out of here for now thank you for watching i'll catch you guys on the next one goodbye <laughs>